versus Lori Noreen Fallow. The matter before the court today is for a verdict in the jury trial that's been conducted over the last several weeks in this case. The court will note on the record, prosecution is here represented by Mr. Wood, Ms. Blake, and Ms. Smith. The defense, Mr. Archibald, Mr. Thomas are present as well as the defendant who is present. The court's been advised that the jury has reached a verdict at this time. Is the state ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. Is the defense ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. Very well. Let's have the jury trial in place. Jury's all present, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Mr. Bailiff. Please be seated. All right. The court will note that we had alternate jurors that were excused upon deliberation. So now the remaining 12 jurors who have deliberated are here and appear to all be properly seated. Will counsel stipulate that the jury is all present and properly seated from the state? Yes, Your Honor. Will the defense will stipulate? Yes, Your Honor. All right. At this time, the court will inquire then from the jury. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yeah. Very well. If you have the verdict form, I'd ask the bailiff to bring that over here and we'll have it brought to the clerk to be read. The defendant would please rise. In the District Court of the 7th Judicial District of the State of Idaho, in and for the County of Fremont, State of Idaho Plaintiff v. Lori Noreen Ballot, a.k.a. Lori Noreen Daybell, Defendant, Case Number CR-22211624, Verdict. We, the jury, duly impaneled and sworn to try the above entitled action for our verdict, unanimously answer the questions submitted to us as follows. Question number one. In regards to count one of the amended indictment, is Lori Noreen Ballot not guilty or guilty of conspiracy to commit first degree murder of Tylee Ryan and grand theft by deception? Answer, guilty. Question number two. In regards to count two of the amended indictment, is Lori Noreen Ballot not guilty or guilty of first degree murder of Tylee Ryan? Answer, guilty. Question number three. In regards to count three of the amended indictment, is Lori Noreen Ballot not guilty or guilty of conspiracy to commit first degree murder of Joshua Jackson Ballot and grand theft by deception? Answer, guilty. Question number four. In regards to count four of the amended indictment, is Lori Noreen Ballot not guilty or guilty of first degree murder of Joshua Jackson Ballot? Answer, guilty. Question number five. In regards to count five of the amended indictment, is Lori Noreen Ballot not guilty or guilty of conspiracy to commit first degree murder of Tamara Tammy Daybell? Answer, guilty. Question number six. In regards to count seven of the amended indictment, is Lori Noreen Ballot not guilty or guilty of grand theft? Answer, guilty. Dated this 12th day of May, 2023, signed by the presiding officer. All right, please be seated. Madam Clerk, thank you for reading the verdict into the record. At this time, let me just inquire of the jury, is this in fact your true and correct verdict? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Let me ask now from counsel, does the state wish to have the jury polled? We do not, Your Honor. Does the defense wish to have the jury polled? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, the jury will be polled at this time. Madam Clerk, if you would please indicate only by juror numbers of each of the jurors if this is their true and correct verdict individually. Juror number four, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, it is. 
Juror number five, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. <coughs> Juror number six, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number eight, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number nine, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number 10, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number 11, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number 12, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number 13, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number 14, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number 15, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number 16, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. The court does find it's a unanimous verdict in this case, so I will direct the clerk to record the verdict into the record of this case. This is what I expected to be a sweeping guilty verdict and what everyone has expected. And with the religious layering issue in this trial, what's ironic is that Lori, Alex, and Chad took extensive efforts to uh, obliterate the remains of JJ and Tylee and also to make sure that Tammy Daybell's uh, murder was not uh, considered murder, but for some divine intervention, their remains were found, however little they were, and that the evidence of their death uh, and murder were actually proven in this trial.